Well, looky who's here. <laughs> <laughs> here she is. Yay. <laughs> so glad you're feeling better, oh, Vera. Oh, me too. I was just telling Chrissy, this is the first time I've been outside in like how many days? <laughs> Seven, eight days? We missed you. Well, I missed you guys too. And I walked out here and I'm going, oh my God, it's bright. <laughs> well, all right. we're back. Yes. And I'm Vera. <laughs> and I'm Christina. And we're from? Souls Enlightenment. Yep, 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 yep. So all the stuff that we talk about in our videos, whether it's past lives, angels, spiritual information, everything, you can find it at soulsenlightenment.com. It's a little windy here in good old, where are we in Paris today? Yes, <laughs> Paris. No, I think it's Italy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Italy. Okay. Italian countryside. Yeah. So anything new going on or anything happening while I was sick? I did not watch the news. I did not watch anything about Trump. I didn't watch anything. Yeah. I just watched comedies and... It's just the usual. The, the end of the world is coming sooner than we... <laughs> Good. <laughs> it's not even a laughing matter. No. But, but mean, you have to laugh or you're going to cry. Exactly. So, yeah. <laughs> so. Well, I see the child of the lies leaving. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's leaving. Ran out of lies to tell. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, today, I was talking to Chrissy about what we could talk about, and I had, um, what show was I watching? Some daytime thing. Oh, it's that one show that I told you I don't like that one guy. Oh, yes. It's, I think it's called Daily Last Live, if I'm not mistaken. And it's supposed to be the only show that's live that talks about current events. They just don't know about us. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's on TV. And I think they brought it up then because um, Kim Kardashian has had this issue with psoriasis. And apparently um, some medical psychic, I think medical psychic, I'm not sure. You know, you're in and out when you're watching it. And she loves mediums. Kim. Kim is from what this, these people were saying. And so this guy, oh God, told her to drink celery juice, I think. That's what you said, yeah. But I'm not sure if it's celery juice or some other kind of juice, but it's some kind of vegetable juice. Okay. That she's supposed to drink first thing in the morning. And that's supposed to help. And it's not a cure. I hope that's not what that person is saying because there is no cure for this right. psoriasis yet. Yet, Kim is working on that. But that's awesome. yeah, 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 yeah. But you know, and who knows? Maybe celery juice will work. I don't know. Or help. Or help with the me. symptoms, or help with the itching, or something. Right. But we all know from Louise Hay's book and Sylvia's books that every, every, every physical ailment, ailment that we have is due to emotion. Right, it comes every some type of emotional upset mm -hmm. or trauma and then it physically manifests yes. as a disease, an illness, sometimes Something. even, an, it can be even an injury. Mm -hmm. We can talk about that later. Yeah. So it all comes from that. And I know people are gonna say, well, what about viruses and germs and all that? That plays a part in it, in it as well because when you're under stress your immune system is down right so then it has all these things that can happen to you because of that fact but it all has to do with how you feel about yourself and how you're feeling about life you know just like me getting sick it's i have not been sick and i don't know how long i was telling everybody oh i don't ever get sick i never get sick <laughs> I've had a cold two times in less than six months. I know. Yeah, you are really good about not getting sick. Yeah. But so I figured it was like, I think I was stressing out about how busy I was. Really? Yeah. It was like, oh, God, I'm, when am I going to get to rest? No. But then loving not resting, does that make sense? Yes. You know, I, it's like, perfect oh, sense. God, I'm so, you know, busy. And you, you, inside you're going like, I'm so happy I'm busy, you know, <laughs> right, but right. then after a while it just kind of gets to you and yeah. you need to slow down so that's what your body does. It right. your makes body, you slow down. Your body forces you If you, you don't do down. it yourself. Yeah. 
so with Kim, and I hope it works. I hope, you know, whatever that yeah, man too. is saying. You know, because I don't want to put down anybody's belief system. And if she really believes it's going to work, guess what? Exactly. It's going to work. It'll help. Yeah. So, but what I was picking up on for Kim, and because first of all, for people that don't know, uh, psoriasis is an autoimmune uh, disease and it affects the skin. And it, what it does is the skin cells grow too fast in certain, I guess, areas. Right. And so that it builds up the scales and all that stuff that makes them itch. And it goes from there. And then there's triggers, and people that have psoriasis know about triggers because it's different things that make it manifest. Right. Or make it erupt, I should say, maybe not manifest. But different type of stresses. Yeah. Or... Because what I picked up for Kim, and you know, it's really good to have this um, soothing kind of topical stuff that can help while you're getting rid of the psoriasis, right? So anything topical that helps is perfect, but you have to get to the root of the issue. Right. And that's where I talk about where past lives are the end all be all, because that's where a lot of it stems from. Sometimes not, because sometimes we just write in that we want to experience certain diseases or whatever. It has right. nothing to do with past lives. But for Kim, this one has to do with past life. And she was, um, it was an Egyptian life, and I could still see her plain as day. And I know you could see her too, because I was describing <laughs> yeah. And she had the, the, these beautiful colors, but she was always covered. Oh. So, and I'm not sure, so she was female, I know, in that lifetime. Um, but she ran the house. Mm -hmm. So it was, she was in a wealthy household she had and I don't know if it was Pharaoh or what or if she was the Pharaoh or but because then she would have to be upset shit right and I'm not sure if I said somebody else was upset shit right so I'm not sure that that's what Kim is but it was in Egypt and she was in charge of the house um, she was a female type of a ruler ruler wherever, it, wherever was. it was got it and she had this um, I guess you could say psoriasis, but it was like ten times psoriasis. Really? It was like, and it's, it was like horribly painful, and to have clothes on oh. would just be horrifying because you know the, it, it just hurts. hurts. So bad. Yeah, but you know you have to cover it up because then people will be going like you know. Yeah. I guess she could have gone to her room and just walked around naked or something, but wow. um, yeah. So so she had it in that lifetime, and she was trying to find cures for it because her daughter has it oh. in that past life. Her daughter had gotten the same thing. So she was just like, but her daughter didn't have it as bad as she did. Oh, really? Yeah. Because I think what she had was some really rare, rare disease within that psoriasis family. I see. You know? so, so it was something that just, yeah, a yeah. little bit more, and or a lot more. 10 times more painful. You know, and the eruptions were, like, really bad. Oh. Yeah. So she was always trying to find different things. And what she would ended up putting on herself eventually killed her because of, I don't know if it was, like, it was, like, silver. Silver. What would that be? Really? Yeah. So it, maybe it had some type of metal in it or some something. Type of, element that yeah but whatever it came out it came it was silver it, and it would like run so oh my gosh <clears throat> so that's what she was know, trying to cure herself good. yeah and it was just like when she would put it on it would be like so much more painful but then how do I explain it it's it was so much more it was painful to put it on but then it eased up really for yeah oh I know but anyway, so that ended up killing her. So I believe in this lifetime, Kim has decided I'm going to find a cure for this disease. You know, cause, because it's so it's so prevalent. A lot, I have no people that have it. Yeah, you know, little, it's quite, tiny, it's common. It's not bad stuff, but, mm -hmm. you know, they do have it. So, so obviously, it's cell memory from this past yeah. life. And to be able to release that negativity and let it go, say, I was in a past life, I don't have to have it in this lifetime anymore, been there, done that, we have enough to 
to learn in our current lifetime, you know, exactly. so that we don't have to keep carrying these things. But I believe it was a reminder she wanted to have it in this life again so that she can do something about it. Right. Because with her celebrity and that kind of thing, you know, to be able to find, um, have a foundation and that kind of stuff to be able to really, but she is like super serious. It's not like she wants to find a cure. You know, it's really cool, too, because this reminds me of... I have psoriasis. You were talking, <laughs> you were talking um, earlier about um, about how she's so adamant to find a cure. You mm -hmm. said that she has it in this life almost as a reminder. You know how you were saying... Birthmarks. How, how people have yeah. birthmarks as a reminder of their strength. Mm -hmm. You were saying earlier that she... Um, wanted to, have, for lack of a better term, has it as a reminder of her mm -hmm. mission. Mm -hmm. And that's interesting to me because usually when we have a mission like that, it's a part of our dharma. And what our dharma is, is something that we've experienced in a past life that becomes almost like not our responsibility, but we choose to take it on. We take on more mm -hmm. to help in life. So this is something that she experienced in this other lifetime. Yeah, and it's so in interesting in because in um, Louise Hay's book, she talks about the different um, diseases that you can get from emotion, you know, from right. what. So for psoriasis, she has it down as fear of being hurt, uh, deadening the senses of self, refusing to accept responsibility for your own feelings. So, you know, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, it is interesting because not like in a judgment way because sometimes no. when we're the ones that are having it if we think about it like okay when I think about refusing to accept the um, our feelings or however you just yeah. said it refusing to accept responsibility for your own feelings okay because sometimes if we say like you know he made me feel that way or she or this happened to me mm -hmm. and that made me feel that way Mm -hmm. Or, I mean, that could be an example of how, where that might come yeah. from, that kind of a thing. But, um... Because no one can make you feel anything you don't want to feel. Yeah. And so, <clears throat> one of the Sounds things, crazy, but it's true. Right. Right. So, one of the things that you're saying is to help to release that cell memory mm -hmm. and to help release whatever stress that, if you have psoriasis or know somebody, whatever stresses that might from that kind of an origin where that symptom is coming out. It's really something to think about, but ways to help release the negativity. Um, you can also use visualization. And one of the things that Angus, who is on the other side, a master teacher that gives us information through Vera, was telling us that you can imagine yourself or visualize yourself in a waterfall. Like even if you're... Yeah, I have that down too. Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah. Like even Go to the healing pond. That's the where the wall pond. waterfall is at. And so, with this waterfall, you can imagine this like sparkling, cl cleansing, healing water that's even washing through your cells and washing away mm -hmm. um, any what, imperfections. Yes, imperfections, negativity, stress, you know, anything like that. And then another tool for protection, we call them tools for protection to protect yourself from those um, that emotional trauma mm -hmm. or stress manifesting physically. Is you can even picture, you might have some ideas for this too, like even picture a, um, a color that is healing to you or protective to you. For me, it's silvery blue, but it might not be for her because in that lifetime it was a silver color. So maybe a emerald green, but something that could be over all of your skin, like almost like you think of a second skin. But it actually has to come with underneath in, the skin yeah, right. because it's not the topic it's what's right. erupting underneath right and so that's <clears> where <throat> when you're visualizing or imagining that water rinsing through you could think of it like that like it's within your cells rinsing through so if you think of that protection or whatever on your skin it can bring back the feeling of it washing through that makes it yeah sense. or just washing through the, the because the psoriasis is the extra buildup of skin so then just to wash to make it even with the rest of the skin yeah that it doesn't it's not built up it's just perfect right right yeah. so yes th that kind of uh, 
healing energy, sparkling healing water type of energy. You or just in a shower. Light, in light. The shower in the morning. Yeah, just cleansing out your cells from the inside out because mm -hmm. that's important. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of whatever works for you. And then within that feeling or visualization, something that creates it to be protective is positive uh, feelings to help lessen the stress, like going to your happy place. A thought that is your, when you're, you're at your happiest. To go to that to help you to release the stress. Did you have more that you? I know you have more. That you no, I, no. Okay. I was just saying, like another one would be to if you have an eruption because it's going to happen. Right. No matter you, it's going to happen where but where you can control it, and say so you have an eruption coming because you know you you know the triggers and you could feel it coming on, and then you could just look at it and say, okay, it's a ten today, or a ten in an hour, and I'm going to check it's going to be an eight. That's a good and one. And you keep it to where the it like soothes itself. It goes down, down, down to where you've seen it. It's it's maybe a one, and you can live with a one, or you can even do the zero. You know, there's it's just see that's perfect. That's perfect because for me, I have hiatal hernias, and I I like to use colors, mm -hmm. and so I pictured this blue that the because blue is for serenity and calming. And, I, and when I'm having a hiatal hernia, it feels like the nerve endings are just turning red like they're on fire. So I use my mind to visualize this blue, calming them down, mm -hmm. calming, 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 and taking it back to the, the source and then just calming down. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like whatever kind of technique works, and I like that one. Well, I use the numbers because in, when we did hypnosis, we would use numbers to, to deepen, you know, go deeper, deeper, and now you see a 10, 9, you know, so you can use numbers, you can use colors, you, whatever works for you. Yeah. But something that you know that it's actually healing it. And a lot of this is obviously, it's the power of the mind. Huge. Yeah. Because our, our mind, we do have control over our body. We have a lot of power mm -hmm. within us to be able to do that. We just need to tap into it. So obviously, the angel that I was thinking that could help with anything like this is what we call the powers angel, and that's exactly where they get their mm -hmm. name. Angus was telling us because not only does this power, this angel have the power to help heal, to heal the mind, and then the body follows suit, but this angel transfers the power to us to be able to invoke that to calm that those symptoms down. And I just wanted to show really quick, where is it? <laughs> I'm looking. Talk amongst yourselves. Yes, yes. Okay, oh here it is, finally. I just wanted to show everybody. You might have seen this angel already. This is the Powers mm -hmm. Angel, and and that's exactly what that color is for, is the serenity, the peace of mind. That's their, their function is to transfer the power to us by placing their forehead to our forehead and giving us that electrical charge energy that we have. And then throughout our day, you can imagine yourself dispersing it to yourself, to your cells, to calm down the symptoms. So cells. it's all kind of connected, isn't it? Yeah. No matter what visualization you're using. Whatever works for you. Mm -hmm. And if you'd like to find out more about the Powers Angel, please visit our store where there's a description because it has a lot more information about that angel to help you. Um, Vera, was there anything Hi, more? Hi, Oh, you also were talking about Oh, her Kylie baby. was her baby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> In that Egyptian life that she, the, the, her little girl, Kylie, in that Egyptian life, had caught that, had that genetic psoriasis that the mom did, but not as severe. It wasn't that rare, rare one. So obviously. But she just didn't want her to have to go through anything because she knows how painful, you know. How painful it was. It is, yeah. yeah. So now, with Kim's platform, she can actually do something about it. Yeah, because one of the Because she's not messing around now. She is like, you know, I know people make fun of her that she's rich for no reason or she's a celebrity for no reason other than a porno film or something. But, you know, that's maybe how she got the start. But what she's doing with it now is where she really wants to help people. Yeah, I mean, awesome. really, that's coming deep from within her, within her heart. That's so, really awesome. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Um, because, like you were saying, too, stuff is just stuff, but what we do with it... I know. Go figure with all the glam. 
and pretty things that they have, you know, that Kim has and all that, and then she has to deal with that. So we all have stuff. Exactly. It doesn't Every matter. Every single person. Exactly. Yeah. But it's really amazing because uh, now that she's made it, that's one of the things you were saying, she made it so that she can have what she has to be able to do something to give like back, this. Yeah. Yeah. I think that was it. Kudos, right? Kim. That was pretty I think so. Pretty cool, yeah. I think that was it. So we want to thank you all for joining us today. First I wanna say Oh yeah. Please well no, you don't know yet. Oh I don't know yet, but you but you thought you mean you reminded me of something I did want to tell everybody. Okay. Yeah. Um our friend Kay. We oh. want to send prayers out to Kay. She, she's a little under the well, a lot under the weather. So if you guys can pray for my our friend Kim. Um Kay. Can I say Kay? Yeah, Kim. Kim, yeah. Kim, Kay, you guys are all going to be healed. How's that? Yes, there we go. You do your healing. Girls. And then, of course, I also, Power for the women. I also want to thank everybody for sending your prayers and well wishes oh, to be here to yeah. get better. Yeah, thank you that guys That was so really much. nice. Yeah, you can actually feel it, too. I, could you? Yeah. Good. Yeah, because there was times where I was like, I'd get up and I'd move around and I'm like going. <laughs> No, but it, it really helped. It did. We love you guys. Have a great week. Stay in line. <laughs>